Hello, my lovely Scorpio. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Scorpio, welcome to your weekend reading. This weekend we are having a full moon in Libra. Quite strong energy for all of you. And many of you, you might feel it, especially if you have your moon in Libra. And indeed, for others of you, might feel like quite strange around this time. Full moons, you know, are all about releasing, purging, getting rid of unnecessary stuff. Others of you, you might use the full moons very, very strongly for manifesting things because it's a very high energy around it. Libra ruled by Venus, you know, it's all about balancing relationships. And as well, we are having the sun in Aries taking action. But also all about relationships going back to Libra and Venus. The relationship with yourself, the relationships with others, the relationships of any kind, all right, loves, is a time to be balanced. Also, you Scorpios, I have a message here that, as the Spirit says, you are way smarter than you show to others or than you recognize, you know. Give yourself, you know, credit for that. Don't don't feel like well, I don't I don't feel like and things like that. Also, you don't need to prove yourself to anybody. Do that whatever it is for yourself. Also, don't let others to cross a line out there. Set boundaries, loves, and also you know, start to say no to other people. Don't let to get in your head or, you know, cross the border. As I've been said, don't let them cross a line. Also, Spear says, focus on learning whatever is for you that better and good energy. And also, surround yourself with that inner light. Also, this moon, for many of you Scorpios, might improve your inner wisdom and could provide a lot of relief. Whatever that case might be for you, loves, I feel here this moon is quite crucial for some Scorpios. But let's hear what the oracles. Astrologically speaking, the March 28th, as the moon is happening, as this full moon will be quite a bit about, but you know, we gotta look for other insights to see and fulfill. Sun, moon, rising signs, and Venus signs, and Scorpio, everyone is welcome as well. The cross watchers, this reading might be for this weekend, this reading might be for the full moon, and for many others of you, this reading way bigger than it is. Giving and receiving. Quite beautiful energy here. And underneath we have acceptance. Accept who you are and know who you are. And giving and receiving, that's very much the balance, having a balance. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalation and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. That's what we speak about. I might speak with somebody who is over the seas, as we have the kangaroos here, Australia, welcome, or tropicals, somebody from the tropics, also welcome, or whatever in the world you are. Let's see here. It's like native Australians, but also it's all about being authentic, native. You know, sometimes when we speak about 
Okay, we speak Native Americans, Native Australians, Native European, or you know, kind of like local type of energy that very much speaks about your true self, whatever it is. There's something here you need to accept, whatever it is the thing, and needs to cope with that and feel like, well, it is this, that's how I am taking it. And let's see, an overall energy for our reading, Two of Cups. Are you here to accept love, to give and receive? There is a connection here which is a give and take. Two of Cups very much speaks about new love. But let's see, Six of Wands for you, Scorpio, Leo energy. Six of Pentacles, Temperance. There's something here as you move forward, make sure the direction you go is a give and take. Ace of Swords, speak the truth. If that works for you or that works for them. Nine of Pentacles. Emperor, Aries, King of Pentacles, and Eight of Wands. You, Scorpio, might deal here with a Leo, Aries, Sag, or an Earth sign. But somebody here tells me it could be a boss. Also, for some of you, it might be somebody who might be in another certain of commitment. There's something here like commitment. Here you are underneath here. Okay. King of Wands here underneath. I feel here you are talking with this person back forth, back forth. You are pretty successful. There is a Scorpio quite successful. And I don't say that the other person is not. But I don't really enjoy the Six of Pentacles. Because many times Six of Pentacles is a breadcrumb energy. Moving forward looks promising. But is balance or not? Temperance very much also speaks about balance. Also patience. Are you patient enough with this or with this person or not? Also, I might speak here with um, a Scorpio who does have fire in the chart. Successful, awesome, but let's clarify the Six of Cups really quick. Three of Swords, Empress, and Four of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yes, my loves, be careful here because we do have this person who you are connected. They might have somebody. Actually, they do have a partner. And you might not be the one here. Okay? You might not be the one. And let's clarify really quick this emperor here. I feel here you love this person. And you, you might try to be patient with them. But it's worth it. Let's see. Tower. Chariot. And Nine of Swords. This could be a boss, somebody at your work, somebody who you are working with or who you are doing business with. I feel here this person didn't really It's the thing here, they 
they could unintentionally fall in love. They didn't expect this connection. Okay? They didn't expect to to go forward or to to even have to do with you something. Because I see them a little worried. Actually a little bit more worried how the things are. How the things are moving here. Flip the energy loves. You might be the one who is married and there's another person here who is single. Okay? Because indeed here, somebody here didn't really expect it to fall in love or to To even think that this can can go forward. It's like we, we start knowing each other more and that's how the things gone here. There's another thing here. Somebody here might say, like, you know, I I rather be by myself alone than in a connection. Because Somebody here needs to to make a decision here. Either they are staying in their connection or their marriage or they are need to leave that connection. Because somebody here doesn't accept to go forward like the way it is. Also, somebody here is quite afraid that the truth will come out. It's like, I try to stay sane. I try to stay, you know, calm. But with this Nine of Swords, I can't. So whatever you are, flip the energy since it's a general reading. But I feel here, somebody here needs to accept that this cannot go to the distance and to go to the distance there needs to be a give and receive energy okay because whoever here is single they don't want to hurt the other person which is the spouse or the husband of the other person it's like I don't want to hurt this person just because I want good for me. So there is something here regards commitment and regards to work on this connection. Yeah, loves. Let's see here one universe message for you, Scorpio. What the universe wants you to see and hear. We have six of swords. Page of cups. Four of cups. Moon. And three of cups. There's indeed here a third party. If you are the one who is married, because I get it a fluctuation from married and single, but by the universe message towards you, if you are the one married and fall in love with that person, I feel here there is a rejection. Somebody here says, like, you know, I'm moving on. And moving on with my life not because of this but because you lie to me there's something at that extent somebody here did lie that they are single or they are offering something good it's kind of like we can stay friends there is a place to say hi and goodbye but not more than that because you know the lies 
brings conflict. And somebody here feels like, I don't need any drama. Yeah. Absolutely. Because somebody here might feel like the people are talking, that people are, you know, venting things. And I don't need any, you know, surprises there. Because I feel here, somebody here did hide something. And that's how it comes, you know. It's a thing here that somebody here feels like I'd rather be alone or I'd rather be single than in a unrequired love relationship. So, yeah. Although I feel here whoever said that is quite honest. And, you know, sometimes the honesty is for the long run. It is what it is. Scorpio, that's what I have for you for this weekend, this full moon. Indeed, somebody honesty is on the table. The other person were something to wish for. But it's kind of like showing the other that you better be honest than not okay so yeah for some of you what I'm seeing here there is a there's a thing here you you Scorpio needs to take care of First thing first, especially this weekend. And most likely to drive safely. Because I see here there is, a, could be a small accident here with your car. Okay. So, drive safe, loves. That's a very small message for some of you. Otherwise, see you next time. Blessings.